Welcome to Money Congos, where we discuss personal finance and investment tips. We are committed to helping people create wealth and achieve financial freedom. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Clubhouse and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and podcast. Alright then, let's head into today's conversation. Hello Kim. Yeah, Adam, how you doing? Charlie, I'm good with yourself. I'm great, Charlie. Doing real nice. Just um this year or this this week I've been traveling for a bit and then I understood why all the buggers leave a tree to come to Ghana. I've understood an extra reason why. <laughs> Charlie. It's been stressful, eh? It's 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 cold, okay, it's cold. It's cold. One of like, <laughs> uh, like a short walk from the from the car to the, the door one time, and come and see my guy. Like he got out of the car, you no, know, he was running. I was like, yo, see, and the weather, the, the the wind and all that. And you go through all this, and you say, ah, meanwhile, you can go to Ghana and chill. Like it's summertime in Ghana, man. What are you waiting for? People are complaining <laughs> about how much time, and I'm just looking at them through the corners of my eyes. I'm sure uh, Polina can can relate. Let me bring Paulina. Paulina. Mm-hmm. I'm bringing Paulina. Paulina, today there's no running. Today we're having a Thanksgiving. We're having a reunion. Everybody coming back together. But yeah, and back 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 to the point um, I was making just to wrap that up, and then we get started with today's conversation is traveling, right? I thought, okay, you know, um, our school is done, so I could just go move around and. Um, visit people couch surfing you know just sleep on anyone's couch who would would be willing to have me i've been to three places already and i'm like no actually i'm in the fourth place now and uh the weather started getting really bad trains got cancelled my bus cancelled charlie train delayed seven hours it's just a lot of travel problems like i hear about it on the news how people are having travel issues and all that and i'm like today i'm feeling it I advise myself next time. <laughs> <laughs> you know the simple solution is leave leave uh, leave a leave a birthday on twentieth. Come back in, well in January. You know after having chilled cool. some. That's all. Keeping it simple. Paulina, can you relate? Charlie, the cold weather there is everywhere. Last week, <laughs> I think last week or two, it snowed here, mm-hmm. and like getting up to even go to work, I was like, hey. Who would have thought that me, pa, that I enjoy my sleep in the cold weather, I will get up, walk through the snow, and go to work. Actually, this is the Abuche life for you. You got to go. A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Girl's got to do. You know, it just reminds you of this funny say. You said, a two near dinner, book a barefoot truck truck. When it's hard, even the bugger will, will, will take a trotro instead of using a car. <laughs> anyway. All right. Thank you all for joining in today. Uh, nice to see Paulina up here again. Nice to see George, da- uh, Dakwa George up here with us again. Um, I'm inviting you up so you can check your notifications or request the mic. Oh, Mimi, you too. Mimi, I've sent you a request or you can just check your notifications or raise your hand. And we all come up and have a conversation. I think it's just about eight people up top at a time. So we will, those of us who will be talking first, after a while, we rotate it for other people to come up. Today's conversation is um, is a Thanksgiving. It's also kind of a reunion. Trying to, we sent invites to many all the to as many people as we can have who uh, who have been who have spoken on Money Congo th- this year. So that we can just have them say something they've been grateful for this year. Just see old names or listen to old voices, you know, just anybody who's helped in the journey this year so far. I have um, Lyndon joining in, in listen only mode. So you'll not see him here on, on screen, but he said when the spirit touches him, he'll speak up. We have Douglas, we have Darkwa George uh, here, and other people will be joining us, you know, and lovely to have Paulina. You know, the agenda for today is really talking about, we'll start with one thing, just one thing that you are really grateful for. I have a long list, but I also keep it to one. If there's, if time allows, we do another rotation and we hear from other people. So yeah, um, 
we can get let me first do a quick check in before we get started mimi how are you doing hi Kim. i'm well i'm well hi everyone <clears throat> Hi Mimi. It sounds like today you are Hi, in a, Mimi. You are in a concert hall. No, I think where I am it's the, the windows there aren't windows yet. So mm. there's echo. I'm around the staircase area. <laughs> mm. You have gone to hide in some corner to do the call. We appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> also the internet issues. <laughs> the one spot, the one spot that you can find internet. <laughs> Yeah. Adam, how about you? How are you also doing? Oh, I'm doing good, though. Um, just trying to... It's just the weather that is worrying a little in terms of the... Not the cold, it's the dust. Mm. Like, let me let me issue that disclaimer. <laughs> right? Is that a sharp response ready for you? <laughs> not yeah. So it's more of the dust than... Uh, try to battle with uh, some, you know, when it happens like that, then your body is trying to adjust because you get some cold and coughing here and there. But besides that, uh, I think I'm fine. It's, and a little bit of unforeseen holiday pressure mm, mm. <laughs> in terms of work. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, that's fine, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. George, how about you? Welcome back here with us. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Um, just like Adam said, <laughs> I think this uh, Christmas, the pressure at work, <laughs> it's, it's surprising. <laughs> I would have hoped to have been on leave, but due to certain things, we, we all have to be around and it, it's not easy. But I think everything is good from our side. That's great to hear, Charlie. It's, it's good to know that at least. Yeah, weathering the storms. Okay, so let's get into today's conversation. I'll probably start with Adam. Adam, why don't you tell us something that you are grateful for this year? Okay, <laughs> interestingly enough, I was uh, like you said, you have we have a number of things we are grateful for, but one thing I'm quite very grateful for is money convos. Actually, I came on board this year, and uh, it's been one thing when I look back at at least for the, I had the goal of probably being um, a little bit like to interact more with other people, get to meet other people, because I'm generally more of a laid-back person and, and largely a loner. <laughs> so I I was, I don't know, but it's not as though I plan to specifically join, let's say, this particular group or something. It just happened, and it's, and it's been a very good experience since I joined somewhere, I think in March or something. And I've been, I'm grateful so much for all the things I've learned and meeting all the great minds here. And actually being able to do a little bit more outside my space. Because like I said, I'm normally within my space. So I, I'm, I'm actually very grateful that I have I've gone out there a little bit. Very uncharacteristic of myself. Uh -huh. So it's one thing when I look back at 2022. I will always be grateful for that. Um, I I I dared to do something that is not normally me. Yeah. Wow, you dared to do something that is not in your normal way of life. It's interesting you say that you are uh, you, you keep to yourself because just this weekend we were or this week we were talking about something and you mentioned that you. Were, I was like, ah, every time you are in church, every time you are doing this thing in church, that thing in church. Then I there is a big man in his church who. So how how I, I struggle to believe you when you say that you are a lead, uh, you, you like to keep to yourself because if you are so active in church, fam, everybody will be bringing their mother to you. How how can you maintain that? But oh well. Anyway, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we were here to be with you as we were trying something new, and uh, we were able to support you with that. Okay, let's go on to Mimi. Then before I will say mine, Mimi, how about you? Who are you grateful for this year? I was wondering what to say because <laughs> there's there, there's a lot of there's a lot to be grateful for, um. But one thing I'm grateful for is um for the opportunity to move out um into my own space and the reason being that I didn't think it would happen now. I mean, if you know me, I'm a realist. I'll do calculations based on my income and all that. Um, but uh, somewhere in the year, a miracle happened, which provided resources. And 
we're able to move out. Initially, my goal was 2024, I think. I think. Um, but we're able to move out um, way before that. And looking back at my goal, if I stuck to the normal way of doing things with this inflation and all the drama in between, I'm sure it would have been maybe 2030 or 2035 or something, but I'm grateful to God for opening that door. This one, it was just a miracle. So I'm grateful for that miracle. Hey, Mimi, when you say go into your own space, please, let's be very clear. You have built your house, you have finished, you are staying in your own house, in case anyone was wondering. Baby, sir. Okay, okay. <laughs> please, where did you find this miracle? How can we replicate it? Where do we go? Where did you eat that very day? Tell us, like, let us understand so that we can try to replicate that same miracle. Because some pe- I see some well, people in the audience, they are looking for that kind of blessing. Actually, it was more of a financial breakthrough for my husband. Um, a, a client from a place that he had worked, um, I think, seven years ago, someone called him with a gig. And it's a big, it's a multinational organization so called him with a gig that oh she remembers he did this is that he should come and do that and that, that was the open door a booze again wow Charlie congratulations oh nice I'm so happy yeah yeah when you do good work people always remember you they'll come find you that's very nice last last week you were telling me what your husband was saying about me me too tell him that I say he's a big man he's a big man <laughs> sure okay. all right great so for me, uh, mine has been really, it's, it's all about people. It's all about people, right? And um, I'm, I'm, I think a couple of sessions ago, earlier, earlier this year, I think it must have been in August, one of our conversations in August or September, I mentioned that I got a lot of support coming from the Money Convo side. Like I had to release release like the responsibilities, delegate, allow other people to take up some parts. And it has been really good. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. It has been really good so far. It has actually helped the organization keep moving forward. If I compare last year with this year, last year was mostly me and Mimi doing the heavy lifting. This year we opened up, encouraged other people to participate, it kept people in the loop more, and it has been very encouraging. Like it's when when you are trying to do good to improve the world, and it's it, it can be a lonely journey. So when you have people to be with you, to support you, just somebody, the person may not even say anything, just somebody just logging in to um, the clubhouse room or the uh, Twitter space, just so that I don't have to be talking to myself. It's a major boost, right? Just knowing that I can always fall back on uh, other people to join in, in our planning sessions, people will show up, come up with brilliant ideas. It's, it's always a good thing knowing that there's this support and it has really helped move things along this year even to the extent we got an intern um he's uh dennis in the audience you would see him he's coming he's gotten as getting some making some traction on certain activities moving forward you know he found uh i i gave him an assignment he, in no time he found someone who does a brilliant job of um of what uh, sound editing and you guys know that i had paused on the sound editing from like last year, November last year, because it, t- it takes like three hours for me to process like one and a half hours of audio, you know, and it's, it's a whole lot of thinking and I don't have the time. And just knowing that I pay someone a small tiny token and that stress goes off, you know, all this, it just comes from having people helping out. So it's, I- I'm very grateful and I'm hopeful that as things are going this way, more people will be participating and we'll be, we'll be making all the moves that we want to make so yeah i'm really grateful for people on my second go around you all know what i'll be talking about so yeah i'll, I'll pass the mic on to someone and henceforth what we are going to do now is when i pass the mic to you you pass the mic to someone else to say what they want to say and uh, i'll try and bring as many people up as possible and if i take you off after you speak please no offense it's just because there's limited space up here all right. Um, let's see. I'll bring Douglas up shortly. Uh, so I'll invite uh, George to speak next. Um, Douglas, if we please do come up. You know, we've already discussed this. Come and if we are, especially you, we don't like talking. Come and tell us something. So George, please go ahead, and then you can pass the mic to someone after. Okay. Uh, thank you. 
Yeah, um, first of all, um, this year, <laughs> I won't say it has been tough. It's been um, a quite um, challenging year. I mean, ups and downs. But I think what I'm really grateful for, I'm surprised the guys are not mentioning this, Qatar, <laughs> the World Cup in Qatar. I think I'm so, as an individual, I, I always appreciate um, opportunities that are given to people out um, that are in the outliers. I mean, people that are not traditionally seen to be pe- people to run the helm of, helm of affairs. So, for example, Qatar, for Qatar to run a World Cup, for me to experience Qatar, run a world, um, host a World Cup and run it and host it so well, I mean, with all the PR that was before this World Cup, I mean, I was quite intrigued. I just wanted to see what would happen. I mean, it speaks to me as an individual. I mean, I'm inspired that once... I'm given the opportunity with with great works and uh, with due diligence and I mean taking great care with whatever I do I can excel and I think Qatar uh, um, Qatar's what the World Cup that you hosted is one of the things that I'm very 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 privileged to have experienced this year and it, it was amazing it was very very amazing oh that's nice straight out of left field man I did not expect this um curious did you go to Qatar um, fortunately, yes, I was there briefly. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> on the matter because I was like, oh no, the way chairman is talking there. No, but minus minus being there, I mean, everything mm-hmm. around what happened in Qatar, it, it was just amazing. I mean, it's something that makes me appreciate that once you put your mind to something, once you want to do something, you can do it, regardless of whoever has been being the traditional person or whoever is expected to, once you think you can do something i feel you can do it and i think qatar really opened my, my eyes to these things i'm very very grateful we're very very good for the experience okay that's great that's lovely all right so who would you like to pass the mic on to oh, i think um douglas douglas Doug, that's fine douglas all righty douglas all right George. hello everyone so i hope you all can hear me loud and clear Awesome. So my my story is more of um, people as well and network I've made this year. I'm grateful to God for that. And some of the opportunities I've missed were, which were actually good for me and my career. So I feel like I would have deviated or done something wrong if I had gotten some opportunities. But because of God's plans for me, I couldn't get those opportunities, and which has really helped me with my life and my career. Also, I've gotten um, other opportunities this year as well. And some decisions I've made, if not for people, I wouldn't have made this, those decisions. So I'm grateful for all those things. Yeah. So these are some of the things I think I'm thankful for this year. Powerful. Uh, Douglas, there's a, a saying in Akan, when you translate it to English, it says, when the drum face is there, we don't beat the side and side. So let us know what specific blessings it is that you are talking, opportunities that you are talking about. Let people be able to tap into it. Opportunities. Okay, so as you are, most of you are aware, early chemists are aware, me, me, I'm sure it's aware. I got, I got this opportunity back in school um, to have an internship with a board bracket bank in London. So I couldn't go the same year I got the offer because I had issues with a Mr. Classroom in the summer. So I had to defer the opportunity to next year. So I had to do this year. And in the process, you know, all these issues, I had I had this um, opportunity within the same bank to <laughs> to join another team. So I took it up and I did a project and all that. But it didn't go like I didn't, I couldn't join the app team because of systems and all these things, technical issues with the bank and all that. So I felt like I, I needed another. Um, I felt like that opportunity was the best for me because I, that's where I, I can really add more value. But it turned out that I couldn't. So yes, that was it. I didn't get that opportunity, but I had the thing that I intended. Like, I got the opportunity to come back to the same team and work full time there. Why am I saying it's a blessing? It's a blessing because fortunately for me, um, <laughs> should I say fortunately or <laughs> yeah? So my girlfriend also goes to work with the same like body bracket team, and she's also going to join um, another um, 
I mean, the team that I was trying to go into. So she was also going. She is also going to join that team. So imagine I had gotten that opportunity. It would have caused a whole lot of issues for me um, in the process. So I'm thankful to God for making me miss that opportunity and giving me another opportunity. So that's what I'll say. And also about the decisions I've made. Uh, I remember when I came down, I wanted to wait. <laughs> I took the early time about it, like, coming down, me, I'm a workaholic, so, like, I'm not able to stay at home without doing anything, so I was like, I wanted to wait, but I had to consult Elikem to make some decisions about some of the things, so I'm planning to also maybe further my education one day, so Elikem was like, right now, I have the time and all that, I should use, I should look for some projects that I can make impact, looking at, like, the opportunities I have ahead, I should use this time to make an impact, so I took up that um, this one and decide not to even make and decide not to work or do anything but just to do voluntary work make impact just go around and make impact so i took up that um advice and it's been good so far like i've gotten a lot of perspective about life some of the opportunities people are not having people are having more opportunities than others and through my experience i've been able to help like two people to also get opportunities which they wouldn't have gotten without like the support I gave them. So I'm very grateful to God for people and opportunities I've made and this love game. Yeah. Thank you. Powerful. Wow, Charlie. I can imagine that if we is tapping into this uh this blessing. We were having a conversation <laughs> just this morning. If we and I'm a boy, we are tapping in as as she has, he's, he's going to the, the bulge bracket. I can see he doesn't want to mention the name, so I'll mention it. But basically, he's a big man. As he's going there, his girlfriend is also going there. Aha, no long distance relationship matter. I like that. <laughs> Very powerful. Okay. Anyway, if we, since you've unmuted it, I guess we can just pass the mic to you. Tell us what you are grateful for. Um, I'm, this year, I'm grateful for my health. Um, because I think that this is the year that I've taken, I've paid attention to my health and it helped me slow down certain things and then, you know, um, pay attention more to to what I'm eating and what I'm doing. So I'm grateful that um, I took the step to pay attention to my health and it's 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 getting better. And then this year, I'm also grateful for the opportunity to travel. I I put on my vision board last year that I wanted to travel. I had no plans of traveling, didn't know where it's going to come from. Even when the opportunity came at work, I was pushing it and all that. But then I had people around me, Ellie Kim and my other bosses, who kept pushing, and it happened. So I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for the travel opportunity. And I'm also grateful for my emergency fund. I was able to build my emergency fund up to a point. I haven't gotten to the goal yet, but I'm no longer where I used to be. So I'm grateful for that. These are the things I'm grateful for this year. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for your emergency fund. <laughs> Very grateful. Even more <laughs> grateful that I, I had that... Anyway, I, I don't mean to comment on everything. It's okay. Yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you for sharing that. And it's, it's quite. It, it, I can. I, I can imagine it will rain in Ghana because Jekia has accepted to take the mic and speak on money convos. She's here every weekend for how many months now? Yet she will never speak. Maybe this is the second time. So we are glad to have you here, Jekia. Okay. Yeah. Paulina, yeah. I was delaying your speech so that we can keep you here longer. As a VIPD, I know that it's difficult to get your time. So when I have your time, I need to prolong it as much as possible. But alas, the time has come. Please tell us what you are grateful for. If you want um, um, a choir uh -huh. <laughs> in the background, then continue. Please. <laughs> we don't mind. Give us the choir as long as it comes with you. <laughs> All right, all right. So for me this year, I think um, thinking about the topic, one of the things I'm grateful for is learning to use other people's money. Um, for those of you who know me, I am fiercely independent and I as much as possible try to save and invest to 
take care of stuff that I need to take care of. But like the government of Ghana, Russia Ukraine war has affected my finances, so it's been a bit tough financially. But I think sometime during the year, I kept hearing other people's money, other people's money, other people's money. And so I reached out to family and to friends to support me in some of the things I wanted to do. And surprisingly, I got good money to do what I needed to do at no interest. So that is um, what I am grateful for. And I'm grateful for the Money Convos team because like, these are conversations that we have had um, in times past and we we'll continue to have even on the platform so uh, it's good to have people like-minded people to share things with and who will bring perspectives that will make you um, rethink your position on something so that's what I am grateful for oh we thank God for that that you are using other people's money is good mm. it's very good and I strongly encourage you please if the, the other people's money is sweet send, send me the link so that I start using it to their money we all need money <laughs> anyway and the latter part of yeah, I'm so glad that we could be part of your your journey and keeping you on your toes about things and I'm also happy that you keep joining us here you bring a lot of people our way you speak you ask certain questions that we wouldn't have even thought of. So I'm really glad that you keep engaging with us. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see who hasn't spoken yet or we could circle back. I'm sure there's more that people are grateful for. If you are in the audience and you are joining us, you'd wonder what is uh, Thanksgiving? We, sh we are just here having a discussion that at, as at the end of the year, this is the last session we'll be having this year. We just want to look back and say, yes, it's been a tough year, but there must be a couple of things that we are grateful for. And so we just want to share them, acknowledge what's, what's been good in the year, despite all that's, all that's been wrong. And hopefully we can, we can look forward to another year. Next year, next week, we'll be talking about um, our goal setting for 2023. So do join us in that conversation also. And to all our speakers, have your plans ready. Two things, the pass rate for the year is is always 50%. Two things that you want to achieve during the year, you must pass uh, at least one of them to at, by the end of the year. We'll also be just look at, looking at the review of 2023, what went wrong or what went well that you need to repeat, what didn't go so well that you need to stop. Okay, back to this conversation in particular. Oh, wait, I see a hand up. Let me bring Na Oyo Kote. Hello, Na. Welcome to... A conversation here on Mandy Convos. How are you doing? Hello? She's still trying to connect. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, we will take another person then while we wait for Nat to speak. Who would like to go next? Perhaps another thing that you've thought of that you realize that no, you you, you are very grateful for. But while people think I'll, I'll talk about mine, I am very grateful that this year, I managed to get into an Ivy League school to do my MBA. I know I was saying Harvard, Harvard, Harvard all of last year. But some of these things, when you enter inside, and there's something called fit, there's some uh, fit, like finding the right school that fits your character and all that. I realized that Cornell is the best place I could be, honestly. The, the character here, the team spirits compared to the ultra competitive places in Harvard and the Whartons, I realized that no, I fit right here in Cornell. And even before school started, the opportunities that have come my way, it's, see, my life has changed. My, the trajectory of my life and my and generations after me have changed. So I'm very grateful for that. And in terms of how I got there, all the people who've supported, again, Money Convos, um, because uh, Money Convos helped me make a lot of impact. And I could speak to those that impact, that practice of speaking every week, or almost every week, for so many months, improving my speaking. It's helped a lot in, in throughout the process. And um, my family that supported me throughout all these things, you know, financial support. When I fell sick, my family was there to take care of me, you know, all the support that I've gotten throughout this journey from my friends, friends who keep me going, Palabi, my friend, uh, my best friend, he went, he went to Harvard 
if, if, if he's going to Harvard, how can I do anything less? You understand? So that we keep the Ivy League brotherhood in the family. You know what I'm saying? You know, all, all my friends who keep me on my toes, um, my friends who help me review LinkedIn, GDD, Hope, all the people who just recommended somebody else to oh, go and talk to this person, go and talk to that person. I'm so grateful. And, you know, as school has, as I've started school, I did write in my essays that I'll help people try to get admissions. And um, I've taken up a role of a VP of admissions for the Johnson Africa Business Society, just trying to get people who want, give assistance to as many people as who want to go, go do their MBA, not just in Cornell, but in any, in any foreign institution. It's because the processes to enter educational institutions in Ghana is very much based on the on your grades, but abroad it's more about your total personality, not just your grades, you know. So assisting people is a whole new way of thinking and I, I spend a lot of hours doing that just to give back because I'm really grateful for all the assistance that I got to get to this point. So yeah, that's another thing for me. Anyone else who'd like to go next? I think Adam, yes, Adam, you wanted to go next. Oh yeah. <clears throat> like, um, um yeah, uh, another thing I'm grateful for is my health. <laughs> Um, when if we mentioned he- the issue about health, yeah, I had a little scare in the middle of the year, somewhere late July into early August. I prior to that I was having disrupted sleep, and uh, next thing I knew, I was having heart palpitations, and it was so scary. And then I get to the hospital, I go check, and I realize that my blood pressure is all over the place and all kinds of strange things that uh, never were like associated with me because I, 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 I look at myself and I, I believe I'm a healthy person but it was such a, a strange situation for about um I think this year I've been to the hospital more times than I can ever imagine I've been to the I've had several hospital visits and uh, it's it was it was a bit strange at the time, but as it we went on uh, by grace of God with some lifestyle changes, getting more physically active, putting like watching what I eat like if he also said like being now particular about the things that I do, I noticed that um I know I'm not out of the woods yet, but I really thank God so far that. I sleep better, things are much, much, much normal with me. And I like, I'm taking it a day at a time and I'm so grateful to God for that, yeah. Wow, well, we are grateful to God that he kept you alive because you've been, you, you are a major contributor to the world. No, it's, I'm really glad that you are still alive and healthy and you figured out a path that helps. Amen to that. Okay, let's see. Maybe would you like another go at it? Yes, but I want to say two things. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everything a double double. <laughs> okay, so um, this year I think I got to a point where, like Eli him, you know, I just felt like the year is not going as planned. But honestly, one of my goal goals this year was to have a lot more speaking opportunities. What I didn't do well was with tracking how many speaking opportunities I had, but I know I had a lot of them. I didn't track, but I had a lot of them and I'm grateful for that opportunity. The great thing is that I didn't go out to search for them, but as I I went for, you know, one thing and then did quite well, then you have another person call and another person call. And I've had about two people um, or, or more describe me as unassuming that is good and bad uh, good because i it means there's more in me than people think bad because it means that maybe i may not be positioning i may not be dressing the part or talking the part or doing whatever but i thank god for some of all the opportunities there were those that up to the time that I was sitting in the hall, um, there, there was a pension summit, summit, 
And at the time I was in the I was in the hall, I was like, oh my god, what am I going to see? Yansa Ben Amekoka. You know, but I got up there and then I did my thing by the grace of God. So I'm grateful for all those opportunities. Um I believe that um part of my purpose in life is to to speak, um, to help other people become better. And I thank God that I have I am overcoming some of my weaknesses because I've always been known as an introvert. I don't know what happened to me, thanks to sales. It seems that thing has been thrown out of the window. I've always seen myself as someone who is not um, as eloquent, but hey, who cares? Um, I get the opportunity to speak, and at the end of the day, people pick one or two things. So I'm really grateful for that. And <clears throat> I'm really grateful for... Um, the Money Combos family and all the contacts and connections I've had. I can't, I, I think if I had an opportunity to do it again um, as a younger person, I would have taken relationships a bit more seriously. I used to be the type, I remember when I was in secondary school, I don't go for any club meeting. I don't go for anything. I, I would just prefer to sleep. The same happened in uni. Um, I would just, I would just, just these few years of just being, going out there, connecting with people online, especially after COVID, have made, have I don't know, have opened major doors for me, have caused me to, um, you know, come out of my comfort zone. Even when I feel overwhelmed, there are people that I talk to, my close friends who, like my my. How do I put it? Like, my close friends have sort of changed, not because I've left the other ones, right? But because there were a lot of empty seats. I remember when my husband decided to do a baby shower for me for my firstborn because we didn't know who would do it. <laughs> and the one question was, who are your friends? That was one question that was thrown out because they were struggling to know who to invite, right? But at least now I can point out to certain people that, oh, these are my friends. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for community. Yeah. 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 Well, I was going to say something by you. You you back to me. The next baby shower, you know who to invite. <laughs> please, please, please. There's no baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the economy has turned into a, a contraceptive. <laughs> anyway. As, as, that's really glad to hear about that. You you going out there. And I found it interesting how you said, and as you mean, it's, a, it's a, both a, 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 a happy and sad thing to hear. And I, the way you explain it makes a lot of sense. I just have a follow-up question about that. So as you were building up the, the portfolio of speaking opportunities, is there a particular strategy that you use? I have someone who is curious. The person is also looking at this path. What are some of the strategic moves you made to get invited to that's be speaking? What, that's why I said, okay, that's why I said I didn't make any strategic moves. Uh -huh. I wasn't, it wasn't something like I said, okay, um, okay, well, uh, I think I started writing on LinkedIn. I don't know if anything came from there. And, you know, um, maybe me being on radio, I was on this, yeah, I got to be on radio every week hosting a program for my company. I, I don't think that may have brought opportunities, but that put me all over the place because everybody was like, ah, you are everywhere. I think it was that thing because every week they are putting out a poster on one topic or the other that we are going to talk about. So I think that also might have um, put me um, out there. Um, what I'm saying, what I think you should do is stay true to your calling. Um, because for me, it's a calling. So it, honestly, it, at a point, it really, really got tiring. My goal for this year was actually to say no a bit more. But I just found myself saying a lot more yes. And it's because it, it's like a passion for me. It's like a calling for me. When I go somewhere and I speak and I get good feedback that we're able to take this or that or we've been able to do this, I feel fulfilled. Um, I personally love things that have to do with bringing people up, personal development, uh, fine, those kind of things. So for me, I see it as a calling. So I, 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 it's not something I struggle with. I believe that once I'm working in my purpose, opportunities uh, will come up. So I do the little that I have to do, put myself out there right here. When I'm called, I, I, I go. I don't, I hardly, you hardly ever see me 
um, give an excuse. The only time I, I told somebody no, he told me about the event like this week and the thing was Saturday and I had put, there was a program with my kids and I'm like, Charlie, I have been so busy this whole year. Let me just, you know, block that time for the kids. So, but hardly would you hear me saying, no, I'll always be there when you call me. So maybe um, that that could have been a reason why people would still call me. And I, I my presentations are normally funny. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a boring person. So <laughs> I guess that, and I believe the grace of God and that I'm working in my purpose. So yeah, those. Thank you for that guidance, Mimi. Thank you. Okay. Let's hear from Paulina next. And I see Seram has come up. So Seram, just be gearing up. I've sent you an invite to come up. So check your notifications and join us up here. And tell us what you are grateful for. Okay, back to Paulina and her choir. All right, so I am grateful for family. Uh-huh. You have heard the choir in the background. I'm grateful for family. Um Due to my schedule, my children were in Ghana, and then my husband and I were here. But um, thankfully, we have been able to get you reunited as a family. And it's one of the things I prayed about um, in December last year. So I am really, really grateful to God for that. Uh, I, I can appreciate that. Uh, having your family with you when you are abroad, it can be quite lonely. So having the full complement of everybody can help. I have a classmate who did first semester without his wife and daughter. When the wife came back, after one week when I was speaking to him, he and his, the wife and daughter were around. You could see the difference in his voice and in his mood. <laughs> okay, great. So let's see. Um, Douglas, back to you. Do you have any more that you are grateful for? Yeah, this year we <laughs> have I have so many testimonies to share. I also like like someone mentioning um previously about traveling <laughs> first time traveling outside Accra Central Region, I mean and it wasn't to just um Kumasi or to the northern part of Ghana but outside Africa. So that's that's the first time experience for me and it wasn't just in Ghana. So I'm grateful to God for that the traveling opportunity, traveling with as well. And yes, going going outside Accra and I mean Cape Cool, Central Region, with Accra, getting the chance to also see other parts of Ghana successfully in within some few like within just three months I've been able to see a lot of places in Ghana, something I've I've not even gotten the opportunity to do over my past over twenty years in um, in Ghana. So I'm grateful to God for that. And also um I can't thank God enough for the um this one opportunity to also give back to others. You know, I'm a fair gene guy. I didn't really have the kind of support people had when they were growing up. But I struggled and managed to come out and I'm now also helping others. So I think this is a great privilege for me that God has given to me. Despite not getting some of the support when I was growing up and all that, I was able to struggle through life and come out and also now giving back to others. So I'm grateful to God for that. That's great especially on the last one, the opportunity to be able to give back what we have gained. I can definitely resonate with that. Okay, great. Let's see. Um, George, how about you? Any more you would like to uh, give thanks for? Um, <laughs> this is a funny one. I'm surprised I, I forgot it. I got married this year. That should have been the first thing I should have said. <laughs> oh, you're about to lose points. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, my no, wife said it. The, the, the eye, they take watch me, sir. But anyway. Oh, no, you lose points. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that that's one of the most, yeah, that was one of my my happiest days. And I'm so grateful I I, I finally got married to my wife. <laughs> um, it, it's been an amazing journey. And it, it, it's, it's a journey that I am very, 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 very excited to continue with with her to, to the rest of my life. I think that is one of the things I'm very, very grateful for this year. Amen. Amen. 
I wish you all the best in that. And I hope you enjoy your time together. But for now, dear, for the next one day or two, dear, you will suffer the consequences. <laughs> okay. All right. If we, how about you? It's, it's nice. It's just interesting how when the, whoever is going to speak before you speaks on a certain theme, you understand. So back to you, if we. Ethikem, why? <laughs> <laughs> let me let me apply small pressure. Oh, sorry, Ethikem. I met a free. Is it? Where did you <laughs> She came to my office. She came like a, a, a ghost and disappeared the mm. same way. <laughs> yeah. I came and said, "Oh, where is a free <laughs> That's how she is. So. That's how she is. <laughs> anyway, please carry on. Um, this year. I think I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for family, not just my family, listen, people I live at home with and all that, but the, the family I have made with, with regards to work, with regards to money, convoys, and other other places. I'm still trying to... I've been able to break out of my comfort zone by making new friends this year, so that's, that's one of the things I'm grateful for. And they are positive and impactful friends. So I'm grateful for that as well. Yeah. Wow. The other one, yeah. I haven't gotten there yet. Mm, I've not gotten there yet, so you can't be grateful yet. Well, we, we hope that makes <laughs> you <be> grateful. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Um, thank you for sharing that. Uh, family goes beyond just who we are related by blood to. So I'm glad exactly. we have all those people. Someone has joined us. Samuel, welcome up stage here with us. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. I'm good. How have you been? I'm good, oh, my brother. It's just I'm feeling cold. That's the only matter, but I'm good. So, can you share with us one thing that you are grateful for this year? Oh, just one. Oh, I like that. I like the spirit. Okay, you can make it two. Everyone has done two, so you can make it two. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm very grateful for good health throughout this year i don't remember falling sick i've been strong throughout the year and i've been able to you know, do most of the things i wanted to do so i'm really grateful for that also i'm grateful for direction i realized that last year i didn't have so much direction as to what i wanted to do with respect to my finances education um career and this year I got that, got people to help me, you know, go to that direction. And I'm literally just pushing, moving to that direction, moving from one height to the other. So I'm really, really grateful for that too. Thank God. No more stomach direction. That's good. All right. Sure. You can continue with the second one. I mentioned two actually. Oh, really? Yeah. The first one was good health. Uh-huh. I haven't been sick throughout That's the true. year. That's true. And then the second one Okay. Comparatively, it was a very short testimony. Pastors would be happy with you. That's why I thought, ah, has he finished so soon? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, good health. It's, that theme is resonating, yeah? Add them a free year resonating with the theme of good health, you know? So that's good. Oh, not, not sick at all this year. That's great. As I'm aside, Charlie, I got COVID when I came to the U.S. and I realized that the COVID in the U.S. is different from the COVID in Ghana. The sun is not here to protect us. It slaps different. It slaps different. <laughs> yeah, back in Ghana, I could get COVID and still go and party. Yeah, can't even eat. Anyway, anyway, that's on my side. Serum, welcome back. Hi, Elikem. Hi, everyone. Hi, Serum. How are you doing? We saw that you had a very a, a delicious weekend. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. The usual Christmas shenanigans of Going where there's sweet, sweet exactly. free food without telling exactly. us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you know the thing we have we are discussing today. What, what, what would you like to share? Thanksgiving. I am thankful to God for my life, for safe delivery. Yeah. So this year I became a mom of two. So yeah, I'm thankful to God for that. Um, I, I realize that um, it's something I people take for granted, but I am becoming very intentional about it. So I'm thankful to family for family 
no, no, nah, please. I'm talking on the phone, okay? Sorry. I'm th- I'm thankful um for family, uh, my kids, my husband, yeah, um, my family, my parents. In fact, they have been amazing this year. They are, they are always amazing, but I am thankful that they are still in the position to sort me out anytime they feel like sorting me out or they f- the, the the spirit leads them yeah. so yes I'm, I'm i'm thankful for that um the second thing i'll say is i'm thankful for investment friend and um, i'm thankful for the the platform that i run with mimi for in fact the connections that we the platform has um given us the impacts that we have made the income to that we have made. <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful for all those. Ish. You should have started with that one now. Ha, ha, ha. See the way you said it. You can see that. Now. I know it Mimi didn't say sweet it. At the back. <laughs> Mimi didn't say it, so oh, let me let me choke her. Let me choke yeah, her. Why? Let me choke her. Why? Let me choke her. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know it was one of our my goals last year that I wanted to make additional source of income, right? It was yeah. one of my the two goals we set. I was only able to achieve that one goal, so yeah. So let me just put it there. Out there. Okay, do you pass fifty percent? So you pass. <laughs> okay, great. So um, we have another person joining us upstage. Um, I see the name as Simple Bless. Simple Bless, welcome. I think this may be the first time I've seen you here with us uh, in Money Convos. Today we are t- giving, we are talking about one thing that we are grateful for throughout this difficult year. So is there something you'd like to share with us? And he's dropped off. Okay, well, if he, we are still around when he comes back, I can bring him up again. Anyway, so moving on... Um, yeah, all too soon. It's, we are nearing an hour of conversation, so we can start wrapping up. Um, if you if you are now tuning in, today's conversation has been about finding gratitude through uh, despite a difficult year. Next week, we'll be having a conversation about our goals for next year. So come prepared with at least two goals that you want us to hold you accountable to. And we'll also check score for the goals for last for 2022. We did. Uh, we had a mid mid uh, was it, was it a mid term or interim review of that. I think it was in August or September where we brought someone to speak on goal setting and perseverance and all that. So we'll just wrap it up. See what we were able to do last uh, during 2022. See what worked, and we we'll keep doing it. See what didn't work so that we can stop doing that, and then set the goals for 2022. Goals that we can be held to. Come ready with two goals. So that you can uh, you have a pass mark of one out of two by the end of the year. You can see that Sevam is already on course to pass this one. So Edem, Mimi, Paulina, I think Lyndon was in that conversation. So Lyndon, if you are listening, you have to come and let us mark your work. Okay, great. Is there anything else anyone has is touching them to uh, is moving them to see before we go? Otherwise, we can call it a night. I am thankful for all of you here and the team, oh. Money Convos, Elikem, Edem, Paulina. Paulina, you, I will bring you a special thank you envelope. I, we are waiting for something to manifest. One is manifest. Paulina, you will bring your 10%. Um, even though she does, I'm sure she doesn't even know what I'm talking about, but yes, I'm thankful for Mimi, for Prince, Douglas, for always being here. I am thankful for everybody, everybody, um, every year, like the, the core, the people, the consistent people, every year. I thank you all. Thank, I am thankful for you. You've made 2022 a very good year for us. Oh, thank you, Sarah. We're also thankful for you and all your support that you give. Okay, that's a very good summary to or uh, wrap way to conclude our conversation. So I just remind you if you are listening to this, follow us on, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on Instagram also follow Investment Friend. They offer uh, 
personalized financial coaching for women. Even if you are not a woman, follow, you can share with your sisters, your, your friends, and anyone else to also get on that path. They may also share those lessons with you. You never know, right? And um, look, start looking out for our podcast. We've got a pipeline that should start releasing from tomorrow. So all previous conversations that we've had, we'll start putting them up. And also, um, as we go on with our current conversations, we would be putting them up. So just look out for those conversations, all right? Anywhere you listen to podcasts, and it'll also be on YouTube, just overlay with some graphics. You see our faces, but you can listen to you, yeah, YouTube for that. All right, then. Thank you so much for making the time this Wednesday and sharing all the things you are grateful for. I wish you an enjoyable rest of the week and talk to you next year. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our thoughts. I hope you learned a thing or two and start practicing. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Clubhouse and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and podcast. Do tell a friend about Money Convos so we all become wealthy together. Talk to you soon. Bye.